another such great personality was Srinivasacharya, whose disappearance day was also yesterday. He was the first person that Lord Chaitanya personally empowered to distribute the books of the six Goswamis. The birth of Srinivasacharya is very interesting. There was a very good devotee of Lord Chaitanya of the name Gangadhar Bhattacharya. He was so much eager to hear and chant the glories of Lord Chaitanya because he knew he was Krishna himself. Well, one day he wanted to visit Lord Chaitanya. On the way he stopped in Katwa. And in Katwa he heard the news that Lord Chaitanya is here. In fact, he's come here to take sannyas on this very day from Keshav Bharati. He went to the bank of the Ganges near Keshav Bharati's ashram and there he saw that very fortunate barber somehow or other trying to cut the hair of Lord Chaitanya's head. He was refusing to do it. Your hair is the most beautiful manifestation of spiritual energy in the entire creation. How can I cut it? The Lord said, cut it! It is my order, cut it! In fact, he couldn't. But Lord Chaitanya, who's the controller of all controllers, started moving this barber's hands, even though he didn't want to do it. And the barber was saying, no, 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 but his hands were cutting it. And meanwhile, he was weeping and crying, and everyone around was weeping and crying. That the all-beautiful Gaur Sundar was renouncing his beautiful wife, his loving mother, the comforts of his home, to take the simple, austere life of a sannyasi for one reason only, to facilitate him to give Krishna consciousness to you and me. Those who have run away from his mercy, he wanted to chase after them in the renounced order of life. As each of his hair was falling to the ground, all the devotees were falling to the ground unconscious with that hair. Weeping, weeping. There was puddles of water from the tears of the devotees' eyes. seeing the sacrifice of the Lord out of his love for us. Then Keshav Bharati gave him his name, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. And Gangadhar Bhattacharya, when he heard that name, Chaitanya, he started madly crying out, Chaitanya, 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 Chaitanya. That's all he could say. He went home to his village, Chakandi. And all he could do was just say, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. And the devotees understood the influence of his love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So they named him Chaitanya Das. There was something that he and his wife never had in their whole lives. And that was a desire to have children. But all of a sudden, in both of their hearts, simultaneously, Chaitanya Das and his good wife, Lakshmi Priya, they both had a deep, deep longing to have a child. What is this? Why? How? They would not do anything of any significance without getting the blessings of great souls. So they decided to go to Jagannath Puri, where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was living in his sannyas lila, to pray to see if this was the Lord's desire. So they began to travel to Puri. It was actually his wife's idea that we should go to Puri and get the blessings of Lord Jagannath and Mahaprabhu before this holy act is to be done. On the way to Puri, Gangadhar Bhattacharya, who is now Chaitanya Das, had a spiritual vision. When he was sleeping at night, the beautiful form of Shamsundar, Lord Krishna, appeared before him. He had a threefold bending form, 
His body was dark like a monsoon cloud. He had lotus-like eyes. He was decorated with the Vajayanti garland and he was playing his celebrated flute. Then that form of Krishna was transformed into the effulgent, beautiful, golden form of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, who had long hair. He was the lord of Navadweep. He was dancing and chanting in great ecstasy. Then that form changed, and he saw Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the saffron robes of a sannyasi with a danda, a kamandalu, and a shaved head. And then that form changed, and he saw the deities of Lord Jagannath, Balaram, and Subhadra Devi, with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu worshipping them. And he could understand by seeing that vision that the moving and non-moving absolute truth had both appeared in this world in the form of Lord Jagannath and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he arrived in Puri, he went to the Singhadwaram, the Lion Gate, which was the main entrance to the temple. Just when he arrived there, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there with his associates about to come in the temple. Gangadhar Bhattacharya offered his prostrated obeisances. His wife offered obeisances. The Lord was so very, very pleased to see them. He placed his foot on the head and said, Now, please go and see the lotus-eyed Lord Jagannath. He will fulfill all of your desires. He went before Lord Jagannath and he prayed, if it is your desire, Lord Jagannath, please let us have a son who will propagate your glories in this world. Later on, Lord Chaitanya told Gangadhar Bhattacharya that Lord Jagannath has heard your prayer and it will soon be fulfilled. And then Lord Chaitanya told his associates, that very soon a child will be born by the mercy of Jagannath. His name will be Srinivas. I have empowered Rupa and Sanatana Goswamis to compile literatures expounding the glories of Bhakti, the highest level of transcendental realization. And I will empower Srinivas to distribute these literatures of Bhakti throughout the lands. He went home and very soon after that, the full moon night of the month of Vaishaka, she became effulgent with a child within her womb. Soon the child was born and he was given the name Srinivas. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com